So in the adolescents and the young adult uh, population, one of the issues is to know how to treat them. Uh, they are at the frontier between the pediatric and uh, adult oncology um, organization. So uh, in the um, adolescent population, some studies shown in the 2000s that uh, patients that were treated in pediatric trials did better than those treated in adult trials. So at that time, in the French Grau group, uh, we took the decision to, uh, uh, to increase the dose intensity of uh, our trial uh, in the whole population of patients aged 15 to uh, 60 years old and uh, to inspire from a pediatric uh, approach with uh, BFM-like induction, with uh, intense consolidation, and also uh, delayed intensification and maintenance for all the patients during two years. So we globally, we improve uh, the results in all the subpopulation, but mostly in uh, the AYA population, why? Because uh, in the older population, population older than 45 and mostly 55 years old, what we observed is an increased uh, toxicity, an increased uh, death risk during induction, but also increased risk of uh, global uh, treatment-related mortality during all the trial. So in the current 2014 uh, trial, uh, we split the population in two with uh, uh, was a patient younger than 45 and older than 45 and we decrease the doses in patients older than 45 to decrease this toxicity but uh, we also um, improve uh, the exposition to methotrexate and asparaginase in younger patients and we also discussed the indication for allogenic stem cell transplantation since previous uh, study from our group showed that the patient that mostly benefit from this approach are uh, MRD positive uh, patients. So the indication for allogenic stem cell transplant will be reduced to the patient with a high MRD at complete uh, remission. And so it will globally reduce the rate of patient that uh, will be eligible for a transplant. Well, so when you look when you look at the AYA population, then uh, and at the survival of this uh, specific population, you see that there is a, a, a dramatic drop after 10 or 15 years of long-term outcome. So, um, uh, and this drop in uh, long-term outcome is due in, in the AYA population specifically is due to difference in treatment attitudes, but also in uh, uh, disease characteristics, and. Uh, the most important founding in, uh, in deciphering the, the, the ALL characteristics in this age range was the identification of the subgroup of uh, pH-like uh, ALL uh, in the last uh, five to uh, six uh, years. Um, this uh, uh, population, this subpopulation of pH-like is uh, uh, relatively frequent in the AYA population, up to one third of the, of the patients. And um, in this uh, population of patients, you may find um, druggable targets, and uh, including ABL-like, uh, uh, like, um, uh, or uh, may found um, a translocation involving ABL-like uh, target or a, a JAK2 that may be a druggable by tyrosine kinase inhibitor or JAK stat pathway uh, inhibitors. So in the patient we report here uh, for the, uh, during the, this workshop, uh, it was a, a, a 24 years old uh, patient with a, a very high white blood cell count at diagnosis and very resistant to frontline uh, therapy. And uh, during, uh, after the uh, uh, induction, the patient was resistant in hematological complete remission with, with a high MRD level of 10 to minus one. And at that time we identified uh, a gene fusion was uh, able one involved and so we decided to treat this patient as we would treat a, a pH positive uh, ALL and uh, finally this uh, patient uh, responded to tyrosine kinase inhibitors and uh, as it was not enough uh, we uh, decided to um, add to this uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitor blunatumumab which is also uh, 
uh, non-targeted but immunotherapy and uh, he achieved a complete molecular remission and was uh, finally uh, transplanted with uh, her mother. It was an haploidentical uh, transplant and we reset the tyrosine kinase inhibitor after a transplant and now she is well one year after a transplant. Oh, this, this case illustrated that uh, we are still just at the beginning of the story and we don't really know how to manage these patients. These patients are infrequent, so it's difficult to have uh, specific trials. And uh, but the, uh, first, uh, uh, the first result of the first case reports, but also the in vivo um, uh, research, ex vivo research, are uh, very, um, and, uh, very positive and uh, led us uh, to expect a good response for this patient to uh, targeted therapy.